How to deposit crypto and fiat on Nexo 2022 tutorial. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. I bring you back with yet another crypto related tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about how we can deposit our crypto or our fiat currency on our Nexo exchange. So we're first of all going to be talking about what Nexo is. We're going to sign up with it. We're going to set it up fully. And then we're going to get into how we can deposit our crypto or our fiat currency right into our Nexo wallet. So I'm going to be taking you through all of it. It's very simple and very easy. And uh, I'm just going to give you a very quick guide and tutorial. So don't worry, just sit back tight, watch the video till the end and just listen to all my steps and instructions. And by the end of this video, you're going to properly know how you can deposit your crypto or fiat currency in your Nexo. So let's get right into it. First of all, we need to discuss what Nexo is. Nexo.io is all in one crypto platform where you can buy assets, borrow against them or swap them between 300 pairs. Basically, Nexo is a, a very new platform where you can buy different crypto assets that you like or you can just borrow them against pairs, basically Bitcoin paired with USDT, etc. Uh, those are the pairs you can uh, pair them up with and yeah that's what basically nexo is it's just a another very great exchange website and yeah we're just going to be getting into it and i'm going to walk you through all of it so here you can see when you load nexo.io up this is uh, the very uh, nice and user-friendly interface you get uh, nexo also has its very own app that you can download on your google play store or your apple play store you can just get it anywhere you'd like and uh, yeah, you can just get started over there. You can see that it's also worked with BitGo, Ledger, and Backed. And it's rated by Trustpilot. Basically, it is rated very well. A lot of people use this. And you can just see all the, of the features it provides you with down here. And you can also see that you can buy different crypto assets. You can earn them by staking or whatever you like. You can check different exchanges, you can borrow them if you want to, and there's also a Nexo card that you can use by Nexo. It's probably uh, going to be partnered with your MasterCard, and you can just link it if you want to. So without further ado, what we're going to do is we're just going to get right in and sign up. And in the top right corner, you're going to see sign in. We're just going to click on that. And once we go on that, we're just going to click on new account. And once we click on new account, what we're going to want to do is obviously we're going to sign up with our correct email that we use. And please make sure the information you put in is entirely correct because uh, with accounts like these where you handle your money and your assets, you don't want to put in any kind of wrong information that you can potentially forget. So we're just going to complete the puzzle. There we go. And after completing the puzzle, it's going to verify us. And once we're verified, it's just going to log us in. So now we have to verify our email. And I'm just going to verify that real quick. So once you verify yourself, you're going to find yourself over here on a page like this. Now, this is obviously the main dashboard and the main interface page that you find on Nexo and over here you can browse around and you can see the different features it gives you. You can buy or transfer crypto, you can borrow, you can spend it without selling it and you can exchange it which I just showed you right now. Now obviously this is your basic dashboard where you can see different market highlights. You have your own very uh, Nexo tokens, uh, you have your Polygon Matic tokens, your Optimism OP tokens, Maker MKR tokens, you can play around with all of these if you want if we come down here we can see different assets and uh, yeah as you can see uh, we have all the assets the, the basics bitcoin ethereum we have the nexo token we have the stablecoin us tether the usd coin and down here you can see different fiat currencies like usd uh, euros and great british pound now uh, obviously these are all the basics. You can find these in uh, all different uh, exchange websites. Then if you go on crypto, obviously you can uh, just change the settings to then you don't see any fiat currencies. And if you just go on fiat X, you'll start seeing the fiat currencies. 
so yeah that's the basic gist and if we go on markets for in markets we can see the different volumes the cappings the charts and all the other whatnots that come with it and we can check it all out we can change the watch list if we want to we can start trading right here if we want to obviously now the difference between other exchange websites and nexo is that nexo does not provide you with trading exactly right now like the proper chart trading because uh, nexo is still in development it's not fully developed so hopefully in the future when it's fully developed it's going to provide its users with all the different types of uh, trading and chart trading and candle charts and other things like that but right now of course it does not provide us with that privilege so what we do is we can either convert boost or just use nexo pro nexo pro is obviously a subscription that you have to buy which is basically an advanced trading platform and it is tr for trading but obviously there are no charts you just trade around with other users if you want to with putting in their details etc so uh let me just show you what we're here for which is obviously how to deposit our crypto and fiat so first of all let's go into how we can deposit our crypto so to deposit our crypto we're just going to come here and we're going to click on trade on any crypto we have so once we click on it now obviously over here we can either buy sell convert now what convert is you can convert your bitcoin currency into any other cryptocurrency so for example if you click on convert you can convert your Bitcoin and you can pay with your Ethereum or Tether or whatever you like. So that is basically what convert is. Now, uh, for how to deposit it, what you're going to do is you're going to click on transfer. Now, once you click on transfer, you're going to go on any currency you want to transfer. Let's say if I want to transfer Tether from somewhere, I'm going to click on transfer and I'm going to click on top up. Now, once I click on top up, obviously it asks you for your identity verification. Now, obviously I haven't given mine right now, but once you're fully verified and once your account is fully set it up, what's going to happen is it's going to give you a page. It's going to ask you to provide you with a certain address that you're going to send or withdraw your crypto from. So for example, let's say you want to withdraw your crypto from your NAMI wallet or your Coinbase wallet, or maybe even your MetaMask. Now, you can either do it from that or you can do it from your different exchange websites, which you are logged in on, let's say, or you're on KuCoin or Binance Exchange or Crypto Exchange or Coinbase, any of these websites on which you have certain cryptocurrencies in your wallet and you want to withdraw those to here, you can do that. All you need is just the address. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the address from Nexo. You're going to paste it on your exchange website that you want to withdraw from. And yeah, that's it. Then it's going to withdraw your crypto from there into this wallet. And that is basically how easy it is to withdraw. And obviously that's for your cryptocurrencies. If it comes to fiat, your fiat currencies, all you need to do is just go down on your fiat currencies. For example, if you want to do USD, euros, whatever, you're just going to click on transfer again. You're going to click on top up and again it's going to give you an address you're going to go to any type of wallet you can either do bank transfer obviously or you can just use your credit or debit card now i would recommend bank transfer because credit or debit card usually takes a big chunk of taxes out of your uh currency that you're sending and i personally don't like that bank transfer although is a bit of a lengthy process i'd still recommend that over credit or debit card so yeah, that's how you withdraw your fiat currencies if you want to. Now, if I were to get into other features, of course, you can also, as you can see, if we go on transfer on any currency, we can also withdraw it from our uh, account on Nexo. So for example, on top of what we're doing is we're depositing it from other exchange websites or wallets we have to our Nexo wallets. But it would withdraw what happens is if we have any of that currency in our top of wallet what we can do is we can withdraw it to whatever wallet we want to and we just need to put in the address of that wallet over here and what that's going to do is it's going to easily withdraw so that's how basic and easy and simple it is to use nexo you can also manage your different wallets if you want to and once you've made your transactions you're just going to see them all over here lined up so if like you want to see the history of your transactions or just check whatever transactions you made out you can come out here in transactions and you can check them all out so yeah that's the basic gist of how you can use nixo and 
yeah, uh, that's how simple and easy it is, to be honest, because Nexo is not a very developed platform and it has a very user friendly interface and you don't really need to know detailed information about crypto and exchange to really get into this. So yeah, that's how basic and simple it was. If you have any issues or query related to this video, you can let me know down in the comments and I'll help you ASAP. If you want to see more videos like this related to crypto and crypto exchange websites, please let me know. I'll make more for you. But yeah, until then, like the video and subscribe to the channel because it helps me out a lot. Share the video around with anyone who's in need of tutorials like these and leave a nice comment if you like the video. But yeah, until then, I hope you all keep having a great day. That's all from me and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.